you check the best sellers in Merch by Amazon, you will find that most of these best sellers are political designs. As you can see, 90%, if not more, are related to the USA elections and specifically the recent incident that happened to Trump. If we check carefully, we will see that most of these designs sell like crazy. You can do that by checking the BSR rates or the BSR numbers. The lower the BSR numbers, the more sales the design is selling. However, the question is, is it safe to work on such designs? Well, to be honest, it's not. However, if you decide to take the risk on your own responsibility, you will get lots of sales. And again, it's very risky because Merch by Amazon, have, they have a very strict rule when it comes to some types of designs. In this video, we're going to create a similar design using Kittle. Kittle is an online design tool that has been creating, that has been developing recently with lots of updates and it is a very user-friendly tool that you can use to design such designs. And for checking these best designs, and the BSR rates, I'm using Merge Dominator. Merge Dominator is an important tool that I always use to understand the print-on-demand market, the best sales, and how I can get into low competition niches. I'll leave a link in the description if you'd like to try Merch Dominator. Now, let's go to Kittle to create our design. But before that, let's go to Google and search for an image that we are going to use to make our design with. So, I'm searching for Trump, Im Trump images. I like this image here. So I'm going to right click on it and save it to my desktop. And don't worry about the quality of the image because we are going to enhance it and or upscale it inside Kittle. Now let's head to Kittle and and press on new design and then we're going to check the, and then we're going to click on the POD presets and choose the preset for Merge by Amazon because we are going to create a design for Merge by Amazon. This will automatically place your artboard with the dimensions of 4,500 and 5,400 pixels and a DPI of 300 resolution. I'm going to rename my project to Trump 2024 and upload the image that I have downloaded. Let's increase the size of the image. Let's change the background color to black.
Then while clicking on clicking on the image, I'm going to use the AI image upscaler to upscale the image. Now the details are much clearer. Then I'm going to use the the image vectorizer to convert the image to vectors because I'm willing to create a different style for the design. Now our image has been converted to vector in 10 colors. You can you can input more colors if you would like. However, I like the style of the image like so. Now going to the elements tab, I'm going to search for mask or just simply go to the mask section and choose a mask from the ones you have. I like this one, so let's stretch it from the corners, like so. Once you place the image inside it, the mask, the image will be placed automatically inside. And now we have the image has these torn edges instead of the sharp lines that we had before the next step is to add a texture go to the texture section and choose one of the textures once you click on it it will be placed automatically to the artboard and i'm going to change the color type of the texture to overlay and play with the opacity a little bit like so now let's add a headline i'm going to use one of the templates that kittle provides and change the color of it we're create, we're creating a simple design here so let's use this template and change the, the text of it first I'm going to change this to 2024 and the middle or the main headline to bulletproof can always click on all the elements and move it and center it to your artboard and then I'm going to add Trump like so you can always ungroup the template elements and place each line where you would like to now let's change the trump text to red by clicking on it and changing the color from the right menu Let's add another headline by clicking on add headline tab and changing the font size. This time I'm adding the, the word legend and change, I'll change its color to something different. Let's first change the text font to something more of a signature text and change the color to yellow
now let's add um, text shading I like this effect I'm going to change the shading to to black again changing the shading color to black and I think I added uh, a text decoration by mistake or text transformation so I'm going to turn it off like so and now let's add some stars also we can search the elements tab or just go to the basic shapes and place on some stars to our artwork and again let's use let's uh, change the color to white I'm going to add another headline and change its size to 500 this time I'm placing the headline at the top of the design changing the font to make stall This time I'm changing the text to never surrender. Just click on the text and double click on the text and change the, the words. So our design is almost finished. I'll just play with the texture blending mode a little bit. So let's change it change it to color burn to create this more of a dark color. I like it like so. And let's play with the opacity level. So this is our final design. If you remove the background color, you can see that this is the design and how it's going to look like. Just make sure to clip the texture to your content so that it's only visible on the design. From the mockup tab, click on it and choose one of the t-shirts mockup. To see how the design is going to look like, choose the t-shirt that you like. I'm going to use this one and the design will be placed automatically on the mockup. Just enlarge your design to fit the t-shirt and that's it. This is how your design is going to look like. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.